Okay, uh, what's up everybody? This night is a very exciting night. So, before that, the weather has changed and it's galaxy season, so you can see my haircut now. Anyways, uh, so I got a new mount. And my last mount was a Star Tracker. And now I, I was really frustrated by how hard it was having to manually push the mount to go to the target using our useless human hands. Um, and I wanted to have a robot to do it, so I bought myself a robot to do it. This is a uh, go-to equatorial mount. Um, so this is the Explore Scientific IXOS 100 PMC8. Now, I'm going to be talking about this in another video. I'm going to be giving a review about this. But for now, I just got a new mount. And so... The tracking accuracy is much better, even with my really bad polar alignment. I was able to get some pretty decent exposures. And so you see there's minimal star trailing. There's a little bit of star trailing, but it's actually pretty minimal compared to my other times using the star tracker. So uh, right now it's just a test night. I really don't care, even if the data turns out to be uh, useless. Um, but, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, today actually was supposed to be a really cloudy night, and I hadn't prepared the plate solve, I hadn't prepared, uh, anything else, right? It's just a go-to functionality which I had prepared, and so it, it actually seems to be working pretty well. So I'm just, I sh yeah, so that's what I'm going to leave on then. Thanks.